Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about seven ways to boost revenue with your private one-to-one -one coaching. So on a daily basis, I get questions sent to me either through my WhatsApp number, which can be found in the description below, or coaches who book one-on-one -on -one calls with me. Again, description below, you can book a call with me. And a lot of the time, the questions are, I'm working with five to 10 clients at the moment, but I don't know how to grow and scale. So essentially, I don't know how to boost my revenue to make more money with my one-to-one -one business so that I can then move on and do it full-time. Okay, that is one of the passions of, of many coaches that I speak to is that they have this passion and drive to do one-to-one -one coaching full-time but they don't know how to turn it into a full-time business. So that is something our company has been doing since 2016. We've been working with, with coaches in the private training sector to, to grow and scale their, their own private training businesses. Okay, so if this is something you want more help with, visit the description below, a number of ways you can connect with me and get our help. So I want to go over the, the seven ways to boost revenue with private one-to-one -one coaching. So if you have a look at the screen in front, okay, I've highlighted seven different areas that you can boost revenue with your one-to-one -one coaching. Okay, so I'm going to go through them one by one. And again, if you need more help or you have any questions, reach out to me. Description below is the best way to get my personal one-on-one -on -one help. All right, so the first one is diversifying your services. Okay, so if you're a trainer who currently does one-to-one -one coaching, and that's pretty much what you specialize in, then one way to boost your revenue is to offering, is by offering different services. So one example is you could introduce group training sessions. So if you have 30 to 35 clients that you're seeing on a consistent basis, but you don't want to move into group training because you want your business to focus solely on one-to-one -one, and you're at a point now where you can't bring in any more clients because you're fully booked, then another way to add an extra revenue stream is by offering your current clients a group training session. It could be once per week or it could be once per month, right? And what you could do is you could repackage your one-to-one -one program and just add the group session as an add-on. So any players or, or clients that you're currently working with that are of a similar ability, similar age group, what you can do is now you reach out to them and say, hey, Mrs. Jones, what our company is looking to do at the moment or what I want to do now is I want to offer your son or your daughter an opportunity to get some private group training with me, okay? And go through the benefits of why this is going to help them, okay? So making your one-to-one -one service the, the the thing that you most focus on is good but then you can add the group training uh, part as an extra add-on to your one-to-one -one. so that way you don't have to bring on more clients you can work with your current ones but you just add them and sell them on to your group training right now if not all your clients don't want to do this, then that's fine. But you could build small groups of four to five players of similar age groups, abilities or genders that they train together maybe once per week, once per month. And that's just an extra that you add on top of your one-to-one -one coaching. And the way you sell it is you talk to the parent about the value that those group sessions have and why you want to do them so you can work on specific areas of the game. Okay, this works if you're in soccer, this works if you're in basketball. Okay, so diversifying your, your, your services, keeping your one to one as your main focus, but just adding a group training aspect to your current clients. 
Now, another way could be running uh, workshops. So this could be in-person or online workshops where you talk about a specific topic, right? So it could be college recruitment. It could be nutrition. It could be mindset training or mindset coaching, right? could be any anything that you feel that your clients are going to be are going to benefit from you can add on as an extra to your one to one okay but the most important thing is that you're always telling mrs jones or telling your clients about the value that this adds to their child and how they are going to go into benefit from this this group session or this workshop Right. Another one is online training. So if you want to keep your one-to-one -one coaching as your main thing, you could create a one-to-one -one online training program where you are either creating a program where players can follow through and you sell as a product, or you can create your own one-to-one -one, uh, coaching program where you're working with players online in person so online live so it could be through through zoom or it could be through other uh, softwares or platforms that you can work with clients one-on-one -on -one, okay so diversifying your services by adding extras to your one-to-one -one coaching now the next one is create specialized packages so if you have players of different ability levels Okay, what you can do is when new players come into your program, you can have different packages for players that are at different levels. So you could have an elite one-to-one -one package where it's only for players that are at maybe high school or college or at a academy, right? So a development academy. Then you have a middle uh, a package where it's one-to-one -one coaching for players who are maybe on travel teams or club teams okay? and then you have another one-to-one -one package which is for beginners so players that don't have don't aren't currently at a club but they just want to get extra coaching so then they can then move into a, a team or a club environment okay so those are creating different specialized packages for different, different types of customers and making sure that those packages suit the needs and solve different problems based on the type of players that you're working with. Okay. Next one is build, build an online presence. So again, using social media to boost your revenue. So making sure you, you create content which is engaging for parents. Uh, you can use your social media or your online presence to sell uh, online packages okay, or to get more parents on a, on a call with you by right? just building your presence online. So it could be creating a Facebook page. It could be creating a, an Instagram page. It could be the one at the moment which is trending is TikTok, right? Finding a way to get in front of more parents and funnel them into something that you want them to do. So it could be an online training program, could be your actual one-to-one -one, uh, in-person program, could be an online product that you're looking to sell. So Funneling people into what something that you want them to do with you is a great way to build your online presence and then boost your revenue because through those platforms, you can get more parents on sales calls, you can sell more products, and you can boost essentially your, your revenue on top of your private one-to-one -one coaching. Now, the next one is implemented pricing. So... Again, this kind of goes down to creating specialized packages, but making sure, again, that there's certain packages that are priced differently for players at different levels. Okay, Something you're going to go through as well is that when you start working with players or with families, 
families are going to be at different economic or financial um, levels, right? Or positions, financial positions. So you might have some parents which are quite wealthy. They might be able to afford a longer term commitment or a more expensive type of uh, package. And then you might have other parents which, you know, they aren't that well off, but they still want to train with you, but they can't afford that that expensive package that you have. So maybe having something that is a little bit more affordable for them to work with you. Okay, so having that's why it's really important when you're, you're creating these specialized packages that you're making them to the point as well where they, they, you're implementing different tiered pricing. So you're making a really, really expensive and, and more committed package. And then you're, you're creating one which is more affordable and it's for parents that maybe can't afford the, the, the more expensive option but they still want to get one your one-to-one -one help, but we bring them on to something of a less less of a commitment. Okay, next one is leverage referral program. So so reaching out to your current clients and talking about your referral program. So picking out certain clients that you're currently working with and putting together a referral program that will help to boost revenue and bring in new customers into your one-to-one -one coaching. So if you have two or three uh, customers at the moment, which you know that they have a lot of uh, influence over other parents, then what I would do is reach out to them and schedule, it could be a five to 10 minute call, talk about how their child is progress progressing, in your in your program and then talk about a referral program that you have going so if mrs jones refers another parent to you she might get a discount of next month's training or she might get a free camp or clinic uh, coming up right so just creating a referral program which is enticing more of your current customers to talk to other parents and get parents to join what you're doing, okay? Now, this is only gonna really work if you reach out to the right parents, if you've got great results with players already, and if you have an incentive in place that really entices parents to want to do it, okay? M many parents won't want to do it, okay? But if it's something that makes sense to them and it's appealing, then they will want to take you up on, on this referral program. Next one, uh, host workshops and events. So a very popular one is you can go to local clubs in your area, run free workshops for them. So it might be for their players, might be for their parents, it might be for their coaches, uh, go into local schools and do events. Uh, I've worked with a coach who's gone into his the, the schools in his area and has run a free 1v1 uh, 1v1 tournament for their pupils. So essentially what he does is his business goes in with an assistant coach and they might spend two to three hours of the day. And what they do is they run a one-to-one -one tournament for the students at that school. And then there's prizes for the winner. It's a great way to then that school to promote what you do. Uh, it's a great way for you to get in front of more parents because a lot of teachers are going to be parents as well. Um, and just a way to get more eyeballs on what you do. So hosting workshops at local clubs, going into schools and running free events and just getting more exposure to your one-to-one -one coaching business. Next one is collaborate with local businesses. So again, this can work a couple of ways. You could collaborate with local clubs that has kind of set up as businesses, go in and become their one-to-one their -one coaching provider. So if you're working with a club, then you could go in and essentially offer your services and be that the only one-to-one -one coach that offers their offers one-to-one -one coaching for their players. So 
So any parents at that club that want one-to-one -one coaching have to go through you, and then you could set up a, a kind of a, a commission where any parent that joins, a percentage goes to the club for referring that that parent to you. Okay, so that could, that could be one way. Um, also, just collaborating with other coaches in your area. So if you've got other one-to-one -one coaches in your local area that have businesses, collaborating, doing doing maybe a clinic or a camp together or an event where you get your clients to come, they get their clients and you do an event together, gives that gives your business great exposure and it puts you again in front of more people, okay? Also collaborating with local businesses in the sense of something, if, you're, if there's a, a local business in the area, so it might be a pizza shop, it might be a Wendy's or it might be um, might be a Five Guys, right? So some local restaurant or bar or business where a lot of parents go to, you could collaborate with them and do some type of uh, shared marketing event, right? You might go into their restaurant and promote to their customers what you do or on your training gear, you have the, the company logo on the front of, of all your training gear. You might run a camp where you do this. So it might be a one-off camp where that company sponsors the camp and basically you hand out fly, they get to hand out flyers, uh, they get to promote their business on your, your, your training gear. Right, so there's a number of ways you can collaborate with local businesses to get more eyeballs on what you're doing and boost your revenue to make more money with your private coaching business. So if you need more help, visit the description below. A number of ways you can reach out to me. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content.